Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna cover some news because yes indeed Tuesday and they decided to release the news which is great in my opinion they should do this more often so number one uh, the desert despair a new highly difficult quest will become available so basically this will start on Friday it's part of the Xenogears events uh, event basically and uh, well told eat well told eat this is what we're gonna be fighting so uh, basically what it says right here the Kupo not only does this foe attack with considerable power but it also capable of Debiliating your units and inflicting status ailments. So I had to Google this word right here, debiliating, uh, debilitating, whatever. This word right here, and it basically weakens your unit. So is it like uh, some type of, of disease that he puts on your party or something? I don't know, but uh, it basically makes your party a little bit weaker and uh, basically will inflict some status ailments. Then be prepared to reduce this foe's high offensive stats and watch out for his abilities that inflict paralysis and stop Kupo. It uses physical attacks often so it may be wise to bring units with high evasion but watch out for its occasional magic attacks. Kupo. Uh, mission rewards. Actually this one is really really cool. Complete the quest. Martial Rod. Attack 7. Magic 100. Pretty good. Pretty good. Evoke an Esper two times or more. Basically G element raid coins. You get a 10,000 of them. Defeat Waltaid. Waltal deed. Whatever. With a limit burst, two rare summon tickets, which is always great. And a party of five or less. We haven't seen this one in a while. Actually, I think the last one was the Final Fantasy 3 event with uh, Onion Knight Refia and uh, Dark Knight Lunat. So uh, you get a four star Moogle, which is a 5% to all um, trust masters, which is really good. Obviously, you can bring those characters right here, but you can make the team that you want. Then we're going to move on to the next one. With this. Uh, we get a new King Mog event, and on the new King Mog event, yes, most people predicted, and uh, it was pretty obvious, it's going to be the Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, the event dungeon, Nel Vesca Temple. So we're not going to read everything. You guys, like every single time, every King Mog event, you guys will be able to get some rare summon tickets. Uh, some blue orbs is going to be the currency for the King Mog right here. Uh, elite quest, obviously you get 500 lapis, which is always good. And the legendary quest, blue orbs, 5,000. Things you're going to be able to get in the store, uh, you guys can see right here. The blue orbs will be able to exchange them for a 5 star select summon ticket, which is always good. Septium, uh, featherweave feather cloak, and uh, this is probably my favorite one right here, the panther skin bag uh all this and more kupo and let's go over the stuff right here septium magic 30 it's an accessory and uh, basically it's only equipable to female units uh auto limit basically boosts your lb gauge every single turn and decreases chance of being targeted which this thing is actually not bad for your magic dealers uh, especially if you're facing uh, bosses that do physical damage this thing is not that bad then featherweave cloak uh accessory defense and spirit plus 15 raw stats Chance of ev evading some physical and magic attack. That's really, really nice. And lux and uh, luxury. And the panther. Is it? Panther skin? Panther skin bag? Basically, this is a mace. I don't know how this is a mace, but this is really funny. I'm really happy they put that in the game. Uh, attack 84 and enables luxury. Restores HP and MP every single turn. Now, uh, next time that the Steel Castle Melfica comes back, you guys can literally put a lot of HP on this. And this is actually not bad for your tank since you're able to restore HP and MP every single turn, which is really, really cool. And obviously, you guys will be able to get the 5-star select summon ticket. Uh, you guys will be able to find Golden Bombs and Ultima Demon, which is going to be boosting the amount of currency you're going to be getting. Uh, Demon Killer is good against them. And let's go over the bonus units. High Seraph Ultima, and I forgot this, game, this, uh, this guy's name, but it doesn't matter. We're going to go over them right here. So we're going to back out here. Bam! Featured Summon. We're back. We're back. Hopefully I'm looking in the camera. And because or else it looks really, really weird. All right, so featured seven, I Seraph Ultima and uh, Beowulf. We get race and construct eight. Now let's go over their stuff right here. It's gonna be a 25k step up banner. You guys can see right here. Uh, the first one is actually pretty cool. So you get a nine plus two, nine plus two, eight plus three, nine plus two, and eight plus three, which is really really cool in my opinion, because uh, those yellow basically increases the chance of being a rainbow so that's really good uh you guys will be able to get those five star select uh those five star tickets right here 
basically whenever you get four of them you're able to exchange them for the unit that you want so you go through the whole step up uh once and then you can do basically for thirty thousand lapis you can do it and basically get the unit that you want so let's say you want i ultima seraph and you get her at the last step well guess what you do another five thousand you get that ticket bam you get your chance you get your chance to get a second ever and make her a seven star uh really really cool basically step three you're guaranteed a rainbow but i think on this banner you might get a lot of rainbows just because the way they're changing things with the eight plus three the nine plus two uh i'm a big fan of that and that uh, 10 percent moogle right here is really really nice also so this is going to be the for the final fantasy tactics now let's go over i seraph ultima basically she's a damage dealer uh let's go over her super trust master right here it's a dagger 98 attack 167 magic uh boost damage of certain magic abilities which is really nice and her trust master is basically boost magic by 30 percent when equipped with a hat or a robe and it's a piece of materia her featured abilities uh grand cross deal partial unmitigated magic damage and chance to of inflicting poison blind sleep silence paralysis confusion disease or stones on all enemies then she has the spell jaw remove some status boost from all enemies and remove some status reject uh, reductions for all allies this is really really nice this is really really nice and it's only every single every 20 turns but this is really nice this is really cool and she gets a global upgrade uh arcane magics magics ultima seven star chain frames have been adjusted so damage all enemies and power up with consecutive use so i have the stuff right here uh, basically that move was able to change with chaos wave uh do they change that to make it change with something else i have no idea but on the jp version whenever you cast that basically it's an aoe 600 percent magic attack with 250 percent uh per turn increase for six turns so every turn you can build it up for six turn max of uh plus 250 percent so that thing could do a lot of damage now did they change the frame on that and basically make it chain with divine ruination i don't know but uh hopefully this thing still chains with chaos wave because that's gonna do a lot of damage uh this is really nice then we're gonna go over the boy right here be a wolf uh this guy is more of a breaker and debuffer i have some of his stuffs right here but let's go over a super trust master right here uh the chaos blade one great sword 167 on attack and 127 on magic this is really really nice uh trust master reward hunter's trade boost attack by 40 percent and hp and mp by 20 percent this is really good uh i'm a big fan of that whenever you can put hp and mp on your damage dealers plus the attack this is really really nice and then it's a nice piece of materia then it's featured abilities yes yeah, saber uh seven star damage all enemies nothing crazy right here boost own physical and magic damage against humans and damage one enemy yep all right then is global upgrade melt let's see if i can find this right here it's all in japanese but it doesn't matter i'm sure i can find it uh chance of inflicting blind sleep silence or stones and reduce attack defense magic and spirit for all enemies so that's basically this one right here uh this move right here if it's the correct one basically on turn one you're gonna break the attack defense magic and spirit by 74 percent for one turn then for the next two turns so on turn two and three you're gonna break the stats by 70 percent and on turn four five and six stats are gonna be broken by 60 percent on a six turn cooldown so this thing is actually not that bad uh like i said he's a big debuffer so basically he has a lot of things where he's able to uh break the attack break the magic break the spirit all this good stuff and he has a really cool move also it's basically a dispelga or uh whatever uh, what's it called the move uh finger snap from odin so basically imagine finger snap plus uh, attack defense magic and spirit break after that for three turns by 45 percent so that's the stats in jp but if if that's the case that's actually not that bad because you're able to dispel the boss and at the same time break him which is really really cool so uh that's gonna be for the boy be a wolf then we have right here race she's a dragon kin dragon kit all right we're going over trust master uh dragon stripe boost magic by 40 percent and boost fire ice and lightning resistance by 30 percent yes please this is really nice this is really nice and if you're gonna do the uh the full 25 or 30k step up uh you might be getting a lot of her and uh, this thing is actually really nice just because of the fire and ice and lightning resistance then she has thunder breath lightning damage to one enemy or power up with consecutive use 
Dragon C speed, boost LB gauge fill rate for all allies and boost physical and magic damage against Dragon. Fire breath, fire damage to one enemy and power up con consecutive use. So obviously if you're an older player, you won't be using her that much. But if you're a newer player, uh, her moves are actually not that bad to use. Especially that LB gauge fill rate could be actually nice for some characters. And this guy right here, Construct 8, well I'm sorry my man, uh, we're gonna go over you real fast. Reduce attack, that's his uh, trust master. Reduce attack and magic by 20% and boost defense and spirit by 30%. Mm, uh, not a big fan, but it doesn't matter. It could work. Could work. Uh, determine defender, boost own defense and spirit, reduce magic damage taken for one turn and chance of temporarily guarding all allies against magic damage. To be honest, there's better uh, magic cover tanks as a four star. So Mystia and uh, Shield, or if you guys have uh, all these guys, Barrel, Chow. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go over this guy real fast. Bye. You're done. You're done. Constructs eight. Now we're gonna go over the real stuff, which it was still the real stuff. But let's go over some other things. Uh, obviously, as you're gonna be able to do the uh, Final Fantasy Tactic events, you're gonna be able to buy one of those tickets that's gonna guarantee you a five star unit, which is really really great. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be seventy thousand, like the other ones. Then, bam! Beast of the Dark number two. A new quest awaits, guys, and we're going to be able to fight Dark Golem and Dark Shiva. Uh, now, this guy is really, really high on defense, and this girl is really, really high on spirit. Uh, they do a lot of damage. Make sure, whenever you're going to build your team, uh, high earth resistance, at least 100%. 100% dark resist on your party, and 100% ice resist or earth resist on your party or if you're bringing a magic cover tank make sure that this is up uh one good character you guys can use the boy nicole uh since he's able to boost a uh, uh, dark and uh ice resist by 70 percent and also um maybe a guy like what's his name I forgot his name. Siege Art to boost your earth resistance. But uh, I'll, let, I'll let you guys think of the way you're going to beat them. So uh, be prepared for a long fight by increasing your ice, earth, and dark resistance. While bringing some means of recovering MP Kupo. Even if you target Dark Shiva, Dark Golem will instead receive the brunt of the attack. So make sure, uh, make use of attacks that ignore defense Kupo. Be aware of the extremely powerful abilities they use when both are still on the field Kupo. So we're going to go over the stuff real fast. Big armor whenever you clear uh, completion reward, basically. Uh, defense 70 and spirit 42. Normal 5 poison and disease, which is pretty good. Especially that disease is really nice since you're not getting your stats broken by 10%. Uh, and it's a big armor. Grand armor. Heavy armor? Heavy armor is better than big armor, right? Alright. Uh, then complete the quest, you get 100 lapis. Now here's the good stuff. Deal fire and wind damage three times or more to each uh, each to an enemy. You guys you guys get a 10% Moogle. Defeat Dark Shiva with an Esper. Uh, Mystic Robes, Materia. Boost Magic and SPR by 30% when equipped with a Robe. Really nice. Evoke Tetra Sylphid and Phoenix. Shiva's Tierra. Defense 3, Magic 51 and Ice, resins, ice Resistance plus 50. That's really cool. So that's, uh, that's one fight that's going to be coming out. And uh, seriously, I can't wait for this one. Because I'm still trying to beat Gilgamesh. Yeah, I'm still there. And last but not least, uh, like I said before, uh, during that uh, step up summon, you guys saw those those little tickets, five star ticket. Whenever you get four of them, you're going to be able to summon for the unit that you want. So let's go over here real quick. To make sure I'm saying the right stuff, players can use four five star guaranteed 30% featured. Oh, it's a 30% featured ticket. Really? Uh... That sucks. Alright. Increased chance of getting High Seraph, Ultima, or a Beowulf. See, I, I'm not a big fan of that. Basically, a 30% chance to get a featured summon. Uh, whatever, Gumi. I'll, uh, I'll leave it like that. This is, I guess, better than nothing, right? At least it's giving you something. But I wish they would bring that thing where they did with uh, the Xenogears, where you can actually choose the unit that you want. Because it would make things a little bit easier. But hey, this is better than nothing, right? So uh, at least we have a trial. We can look forward. And uh, we're going to be able to get our hands busy this weekend. Since we're going to have the new uh, Xenogear boss. We're going to have Beast of the Dark live, I guess, on Thursday. Is it after maintenance? Uh, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, event begins the 4th. So uh, basically after maintenance on Thursday. 
uh we're gonna get the new king mog event so uh this week is gonna be a little bit busy which is really good so guys let me know down below in the comment section are you happy about this are you are you are you gonna summon on the final fantasy tactic characters and uh Axe star is coming really soon that's what it means that's what it means so guys please as always leave a like down below comment down below and also subscribe for more content from your boy on this note guys have a nice day and i'm out peace